Hello, and welcome to Going Beyond GRPs to TV and Video ROI. I'm Ann Hunter, Vice President of Product Marketing at Disco, and today we're going to talk about what happens after you can count what video ads have actually run. Beyond counting how many people see their ads, brands really want to know which video ad formats actually work best to drive results. And Disco has a sneak peek at some answers to that question for you here today. First, for those of you who don't know Disco, Disco is a customer experience platform where millions of people share their opinions and their complete behavioral footprint across all platforms. So one of the ways that brands, agencies, publishers use our platform is to understand how ad campaigns impact brand experience. They wanna understand what advertising does to lift brand awareness because we can see that exposure across platforms without cookies and help brands understand if their advertising on different platforms is actually driving the business outcomes they're looking for. We initiated a project to generate some overarching learnings across all of our clients from hundreds of recent ad effectiveness studies. There's multiple brands, categories, and video ad formats. And today we're sharing with you a short sneak peek into some of the results of that study. For this view, we studied 50 brands across 10 separate consumer categories. There's CPG and apparel, retail, tech, finance, pharma. It's a really wide range of different client types that data is being used for in this analysis. In addition, we compared the impact of advertising on different video platforms. We looked at standard brand lift metrics in a control and exposed methodology. So we looked at people who saw ads and then we had a matching control group of people who didn't see them. And then we asked them, were they aware of the ad? How favorable did they feel toward the brand? Were they likely to purchase that brand? And we evaluated three major video ad formats, linear TV, OTT slash CTV and online video to look at the impact at brands in driving these awareness and favorability metrics across different platforms. The first thing we discovered when looking at all of this data together is that statistical significance is critical. It's tempting when making assumptions about performance to use the largest set of data. But what we found is that if you look at all of the results, in some cases, there's not enough media spend to actually come up with a statistically significant answer. So statistical significance is critical to being able to determine what's actually working. Across all of the different measures of brand impact from ad awareness to likelihood of purchase, only looking at statistically significant data yielded a real change in the results. In fact, statistically significant campaigns at the metric level were between two to five points higher than just looking at data that was collected that might not be um, large enough in terms of media spend. The next thing that we determined is that across the board, there's good news. Video ads work. Video ads work across all video formats. Linear TV, online video, and CTV, OTT, all deliver solid performance. In fact, video delivers 6.8% average lift across all brand metrics and formats. In a lot of ways, we know that video works. It's not a re revolutionary finding. People have been advertising on TV for years. But with the move to add new formats and new approaches, there's been some concern if these new approaches would be effective or if they'd have any impacts on the effect of traditional linear TV. The good news is that 
across the board, video is still impactful. It still holds audiences' attention. Um, sight, sound, and motion really do make a difference. And video ads work across all platforms. However, knowing specifically about the performance within a given category or for your brand matters a lot. For example, we looked at CPG retail and services campaigns. And we found that for CPG brands, a combination of linear TV and OTT was the most successful. It had the highest lift or change in awareness and favorability and other brand measures. Compared to retail and services, where it was a combination of linear and online video that generated the best impacts. So understanding the individual mix of video platforms within your category and for your specific brand is absolutely critical. There isn't unfortunately one simple answer. And as I mentioned earlier, this is just a sneak peek of the peak of the data. There's a lot more data to come where we hope to actually put out formally um, category results to help guide brands into the right combinations for their specific needs. But even without that, it's important that brands understand that this is a very personalized process, which is why working with their agencies and their in-house agencies um, and their media partners is so important in measuring the effects of advertising across platforms in a uniform way in their individual campaigns. We also found that multiple exposures across channels really increases impact. And to some degree, it's sort of natural. If your best friend tells you that there's a cool new restaurant you should check out, and then your spouse tells you the same thing, and then you hear it from your dad as well, you think, gosh, everyone's talking about this restaurant, much more so than if you just hear your spouse say it three times. It's the fact that it comes from a variety of places that really creates with the same level of frequency, a bigger impact. So across the board, we saw that when people were um, seeing advertising on multiple video formats and multiple video channels, it was providing a better lift. This is an example here in a select campaign where they use online video only, and then they use some OTT, but when we look at the combination of people who are exposed in both places, the results are better. And this was very typical of what we would see across campaigns. It's really that combination that matters. So to sum it up, the good news is video ads work, but effectiveness is not an absolute function of the channel. We can't say that one channel is definitively better than another. Effectiveness is really a function of who you target, which channels are your targets using best, how much you spend. If there's not enough media behind it, the results may not be significant no matter where you're running. Where you run across channels matters. There are differences in the quality of environments that the video can run in. And then how that channel fits into the category buying journey. For certain categories, online video may be much more relevant. For others, it's linear TV. Understanding that individual category buying journey is a key function of success. And ultimately, brands need to measure this all. They need to be able to look at all of their video with a single neutral methodology that allows them to compare performance across any channel using the same approach so they can get the ideal mix for their objective. So if you're interested in understanding how your video performs across channels, feel free to reach out. I'm Anne, um, and you can just shoot us a note at hello at disco.com. And with that, I thank you.